five at Pioneer High School, and I just tried to line up some Michigan fans to talk to. You can see all these cars coming in. A moment ago, they were all still, and Main Street was just lined with cars. Most of them were Michigan fans, and they weren't able to talk to us because they don't want to lose their spot to get into this gate over here where they're going to be tailgating because they've been waiting since midnight 4 a.m. So I had to settle. I'm going to be talking to some Buckeye fans. Here's Nick. He uh, came up with a bunch of his friends. Nick, tell me, you guys got quite the setup out here. Tell me what you got going on. Well, a little bit of everything. We got the grill going. We started it up about 1 a.m. when we pulled into the parking lot. Uh, obviously, the, the, the beard pong game set up. Uh, radio ready to go, so we're just waiting for the sun to come up and uh, have a little fun watching Buckeyes win today. Now, I'm looking at you guys, and you're kind of isolated. Not a lot of Buckeye fans over here, but you say that, you know, you're not feeling lonely or isolated here in Ann Arbor. Absolutely not. We got everybody we need right here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't feel at all, you know, worried about this game? No. If I've learned anything over the last seven years, it's that we're going to pull this one out. All right. And I like your brother Tim's hat over here. Let's talk to Tim. T Tim, tell me, um, what do you want to say to Michigan fans today? Well, just like to remind them uh, about how we come every two years to just demonstrate how much we still hate Ann Arbor. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how things are going this season. I uh, think we're still looking good. And tell me when you guys left and how long you've been here. Uh, Got here like midnight, right? No, it's been uh, it's been several weeks now. We've been just kind of waiting around <laughs> here. They have been here several weeks. No, no one's really noticed. We like to think it's a tent city. We like to think we're occupying Ann Arbor, but uh, no one's noticed. We're here. We're hating Ann Arbor. I don't, I don't know where everybody else is. I guess they're coming. I don't know. So you are not at. I I think you should be worried. You're not worried. Why would I be worried? I mean. Uh, you may follow football, but we we have a little thing called history and science and technology. Oh well, we'll see what happens with history today because we're going to be making some history live in Ann Arbor. Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Back to you guys.